Ready? I'm ready, man. I've been ready. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm George. This is Bert. Cheers. We are Baggers and Brews. And today, we're going to do some installs on the 21 Roguelide that uh, just dropped these products. So... Back in the garage. Back in the garage. It's been a minute. Been a minute. We were just talking. I think it was uh, <laughs> July, right before Sturgis was the last time I was in this garage. So yeah. So it's uh, it's been a it's been a busy few months, but we're back in here. We're ready to get some stuff put on the bike, and uh, you're excited about it. Much needed upgrade. I feel like uh, floorboards are one of those things make a big difference, and uh, the stock ones are just I don't know, not exciting. They gotta go. Yeah. Go. They're not as bad as stock bars. So but they still that's, go. that's true. So so what are, so what are we putting on here? So Ciro, finally, finally, Ciro is in the floorboard game. We grab this box. Exciting news. We got the chicane. Boo boo. Driver floorboards. These come in chrome and black. Um, you're gonna see them linked down below. Again, they just dropped, mm -hmm. and they did it right. Whole set. Yes. Shifter pegs, brake pad. Um, Passenger, passenger floorboards, floorboards and, and passenger footrests. Foot yep. And it also has matching um, grips, which you're not going to use because no. they're not heated and you already have the heated. But we are going to make use of those in a later video. Correct. And um, they also have the driver, driver footrest, same. You can use those as driver footrests too. Right. So it's the whole set. They didn't come out with like one thing or two things, the whole set. So it's the way to do it. Doing it right. And you don't have to buy them all together, but. No. But they you are, can have them all, so that's a, that's a good available. function feature um, right there. And again, quality zero stuff. Price point on these driver floorboards is two ninety nine. Super competitive in the market. You know, Excuse me, very, super very, very. I challenge you to find a, a good solid set of floorboards aftermarket, other than mm -hmm. Amazon, that get close right. to that. To be honest with you, I haven't seen them. So good company products we've been happy with. Let's uh, let's get these unboxed. Yeah, let's do and, it. And, uh, you know, again, these are floorboards. We're not going to do a bolt by bolt, but I want to no. show you the product, show you what it looks like, show you how it's packaged, and uh, you can let us know what you think at the end. All right. Sierra always stays true to its branding, its colors, that's for sure. Move my beer out of the way. Falling out right away. Even though it's a simple floorboard, Ciro laminated full color instructions. So, very nice. That's not laminated. It's like laminate paper, it's though. It's just a. It's shiny <laughs> paper. It's, it's definitely nice. They spare no expense on their directions. We haven't even, we've had these for a while and haven't even cracked them, so now, excited to see how they feel. These are uh, us seeing it for the first time. Baby, they're sealed up. So inside a box, inside bubble wrap, inside shrink wrap. Got a little bit of a skateboard look to them. They do, they do. Sometimes you just gotta be smarter than the plastic. I'm telling you. So How very nice, man. How they feel? They Sturdy. feel good. Well, yeah, I mean, it's uh, it's, so, it's solid, solid, solid. And this is uh, feels like a pretty grippy feel, that. Yeah, that's pretty, that, that should you know? catch good on a, on a shoe or boot. Yep. That's, that's a pretty wide little curve it's got. Yeah, it's pretty neat, huh? That is kind of neat. You can look down that. Give you a little, like, toe resting spot. Yeah. So pretty cool. And and it actually like I think I mean I don't I'm not gonna speak for their designers, but it feels like it gives you a spot to put your heel and kind of not slide off. You know what I mean? Oh, when you to have kind of just have your foot all the way forward, all the way forward and on that rest. Yeah. That guy, I could see that. I could see that. I mean, I'm no parts designer, but it makes sense to me. All right. So we're gonna start with these. 
There's no hardware here, so all existing hardware. Um, again, we're not going to go through this piece by piece, depending on what kind of highway foot pegs you have. Hopefully you have some zero frame mounted highway foot pegs. Yeah, I, when I was going to say that, you know, it will be a little different based on mm -hmm. your setup because with you having the frame mounted, yep. it kind of changes the way it mounts a little bit yep. than if you had stock. So looking good. Yeah, they look really nice. So, and black. The, now, this is the black, obviously. I've got a black and gray bike, but they do come in chrome. Yep. And then we're going to get these other pieces opened as we go. This is the uh, the brake pad, and uh, probably gonna use the short shifter. Yep. 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 All right. So they have heel toe shifter, but you yep. do not have the, I, the heel I, setup. I do not have a heel setup now. So we won't be using that, but so just that. All right, and uh, uh, shouldn't be too bad. Shouldn't All right. be too bad. I'm excited. Started. I'm excited. I guess the first step would be to uh, get old floorboards off. Take that stock crap off. Yep. All right, let's go. So, it's just floorboards. Yeah, famous last words, baby. Just floorboards. Just Take floorboards. a few minutes. Um, nothing to do with the new boards, really. Yeah, nothing to do with zero boards. It's just the fact that when bolts are on bikes, I had a floorboard bolt that uh, is an Allen head that stripped out. So we're going to go to Harley and see if we can get that baby. We'll get that tomorrow. Um, it's a cake. Other than that, I mean, everything goes on really easy. They look great. It's, it's not. They look As awesome. As you guys can see, they look amazing. Um, huge difference. Yeah. It's it's yeah. it's funny, like you don't really think about it, but what a huge difference just a set of floorboards make to the customization of a motorcycle, right? Like and not like just getting it away from looking stock. Yeah. It's so drastic. It looks great. Yeah, it looks awesome. And the tread pattern they have, super grippy. The uh also matches my Adam Sandoval yeah, yeah, yeah. um rider floorboards. I, I feel like they did it on purpose, but yeah, that worked out good. Mm -hmm. That same type of tread. Um, so nice, lengthy. They've got that stylish cut in the middle that I liked from the um, kind of Harley had one that was like that a little bit. We'll see how Stacy likes the rear passenger floorboards. We replaced the Ciro pegs with those floorboards. Yeah. Um, see how she likes like those them. this weekend. She'll be out on those. And um, it's great. The, the brake pad. Interesting story with a brake pad. Wild. Um, Never in a million years would have guessed. <laughs> so yeah. my stock Harley brake pad the, and the pedal pad is what I'm talking about. I had to cut that off with a box cutter because there was no way that it was coming off. Yeah, so he has a limited, right? So he's got the, the grandpa bike. He's got the he's got the Roguelite limited, lower fairings, all that stuff. Um, I've done, I did them on the 16. Mm -hmm. I did them on the 23. I think I did them on the Heritage, mm -hmm. replacing that, that brake pad. Pedal, pedal pad mm -hmm. and they all just have a nut on the back you undo it and it comes out the bolt comes out boom like replace it's real simple this were like how's this come <laughs> off what is going on here so did a little bit of googling which is hard to find and to be honest with you a little bit disappointed in harley it's not in the service manual. like if it's there we don't know what it's under so, and the other thing is the, there are some notches in that and the zero pedal that replaces it has the notches cut out. So everything locks in there perfectly. So again, another zero part. And we've said this before that fits on a Harley, like a stock part, like it should. So it was very cool how it kind of locks in there. So once you get that old pedal off, the new one goes on super easy. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, Realistically, this is a super easy install. It's like a one, you know, depending yeah. on how fast you drink, one, yeah. two beer, two beer, two beer install. You know, I drank four during this because <laughs> it's just getting stock stuff off. It was a kind of a game changer, but 
Again, we didn't we didn't film mm -hmm. all of our dilemmas. That's why we're telling you. But another cool thing is the shifter peg. The shifter peg's got a really neat design where the bolt goes way down inside, so you don't see the bolt at all mm -hmm. from the outside. So it just looks like the shifter peg is fit on there. So it's uh, it's kind of neat how they uh, how they did that. And then the shifter peg also has two flat spots, so you can line them up to where your uh, where your your uh, boot goes. So pretty yeah. neat. Pretty cool, man. And they, they look great, and it really does make a huge difference. Mm -hmm. um, you guys let us know what you think. But real quick, I just wanted to give a huge shout-out to Ciro for being such a great partner of our channel. Yeah. And, and a huge shout-out to Azura, who is not currently uh, with the company because she is out, about to have a family. She's probably ready. I mean... By right now, by the time this video, by the time this video drops, she's probably got a brand new baby. Which congratulations to you and your family, and thank you for being so supportive of Baggers and Brews for so long now. Yeah. Uh, we love being part of the Ciro family and love these parts, and they're they just they never really disappoint, man. I mean, I love them. I love yeah. them. So everything's been great. Thanks, guys, so much. Um, yeah, check these out. Let us know what you think. So, and latest addition to uh, the Twenty One Limited and. If you haven't seen the video, I'd like to say I'll link it, but I never do. So go back in the channel sure, and um, take a look just at an overview of this bike and the rest of the mods. Um, a lot of them are from Ciro that are uh, on this bike. So go check it out. Yeah, we're super, we're like on the precipice of install season here in New Jersey. <laughs> and we have a lot of stuff to do both on George's and mine. So we got a lot of different stuff coming. We're going to try to sprinkle in a lot of the, the, you know, ride videos and different event stuff that we still have on the back burner. But we got a lot of content coming out, so if you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button, uh, hit that bell notification, make your, sure you hit the little all. There gives you like three options when you click it, hit all, because that's what's gonna let you know when we drop a new video. Always love comments, give us a thumbs up if you don't hate the video, give us a thumbs up if you hate the video. Either way, you win. Quick addendum to the video, one of the things you did not see are the actual passenger floorboards. They will be released uh, early November. So keep a lookout for those, and we'll have everything linked below in the uh, description of the video. But yeah, cool, Somebody wins. cool story, cool story. And <laughs> uh, we look forward to seeing you guys on the next video, man. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one. All right. Peace. Later.